There's a pair of the JBL Tune 770NC headphones. I'm gonna show you how to pair and connect these directly to a Windows computer, PC, or laptop via Bluetooth. So the first thing we wanna do is put this in a pairing mode, okay? So these are currently off. Let me turn these on. Let me press and hold that power button and just wait. Now the lights are on, it said power on. Connected. It said connected. Now what I want is a blue blinking light. I don't want it to be connected to a different device, all right? So if it starts blinking blue here, you are in pairing mode. I don't have a blue blinking light here because I'm connected to a different device, okay? So in order for me to put this in pairing mode, I can do two things, okay? First, I know it's connected to my iPhone here. I can go to my Bluetooth settings and unpair or remove it from the paired list. Once I do that on my iPhone, right away I'll get a blue blinking light, okay? Now another way to do it, rather than uh, forgetting or unpairing it from my other device, I can simply just go to, while the headphones are on, double tap the power button, ready? One, two. Pairing. It said pairing. And now I get a blue blinking light indicating it's in pairing mode. Now we're gonna hurry up and go to our computer here and we're gonna go to Bluetooth settings. I'm just go down here in the search bar and I'll type in Bluetooth. And I see Bluetooth and other device settings under system settings. So let me select on that right there. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. And then you wanna select up here, add Bluetooth or other device. Let's tap on that. And then we wanna select the first one, which is this Bluetooth right here. Select that. Now you see this thing, this line moving is searching for devices that's in pairing mode near me. These are still in the pairing mode, it's still blinking blue. So we should find it up here and it showed up down here, JBL Tune 770. It says connecting right there. Voila, device is ready to go. So we're connected now, connected and ready to go. Okay, now the thing is, if you had any problems connecting or pairing, you can always factory reset these if you need to do that. Look in the link below in the description area.